Well, today is a special day that only comes around every four years. February 29th, or Leap Day, is added to the calendar to make up for the Earth's rotation. So just imagine what it's like to be born on a day that only shows up every four years. Tonight, our Jean Mackin met some of New Hampshire's newest Leap Babies. Happy birthday, Leap Baby! Colton, weighing in at 8 pounds, 3 ounces, finally arrived five days late. He seemed to be waiting for the calendar to reach February 29th before making his appearance at St. Joseph Hospital in Nashua. I was, first of all, happy that he was coming. <laughs> Hospitals across the state say they welcomed a few leaplings this quad year, like Jace Daniel Peterson, all nine pounds, five ounces of him, the newest leap baby at Elliott Hospital in Manchester. This was just when he was supposed to be here. It's all in God's timing, but it does make it a little more fun, you know, something a little extra special to make his birthday more unique. I think it's actually pretty cool. I think it's, it's neat to have something a little different. So what are the odds of being born on February 29th? Well, about 1 in 1,500, and there are 187,000 leap babies in the United States. And by leap babies, we mean anyone, young or older, officially celebrating a birthday only once every four years, which leaves parents with the timeless question, on those off years, will you celebrate February 28th or March 1st? Probably on February 28th. Keep it in February. March 1st, the day after the 28th, so. But we'll let him pick when he's older. Leap babies will celebrate their true birthdays again on Saturday, February 29th, 2020. Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9.